they can't stay away from each other too long. Uh, but there is, uh, there's some friction in the process of then trying to figure out what it's going to be between them. I'm super excited for everyone to get season two. And we're picking this season up right where we left off. There's a mysterious text that comes in. Clearly things are not going back to normal. What can you tell us about what is coming next? Yeah, well, um, thank you for taking the time to be with us today. We, we really- Of course. Um, yeah. Uh, expecting in season two. I think, I think we, we're gonna expect a lot more um, drama and thrill and suspense. And um, I think they've really upped the stakes with season two. Um, and you know, for the Nateman fans, I, I really think we do see their relationship like without giving too much over, away, like deep and, and, and develop. And I, I think we almost see sort of more tension and, and complications that they have to work through as a couple, which is, which is amazing. Yeah, I was going to ask, how are Bronwyn and Nate going to kind of navigate this next chapter? Because I, I had a feeling that, you know, things aren't done for good, for good. It's too good to, to wrap it up in season one. <laughs> 100. They, they can't stay away from each other too long. Uh, but there is uh, there's some friction in the process of then trying to figure out what it's going to be between them, because also they're dealing with you know, um, someone threatening them basically every day of their lives and like hiding something as grave as like having murdered someone. So um, yeah, it, it plays out very interestingly. And I think that I would say that they really mature in the way that they interact with one another because they're, they're having to deal with like real, real grown up and like scary stuff. So it almost makes them just have to be very honest with one another and look out for one another. And I think um, that also applies for, you know, the whole group, the baby four, Janae, Maeve. Yeah, everyone. I mean, how is everyone going to handle this next kind of threatening chapter? I feel like there's a lot of different reactions that are going to spark. I'm not sure how well they're all going to work together. Yeah, it's a great question. I think they've definitely developed a, a, a larger sense of friendship and camaraderie. Um, I think there's more trust, but at the same time, like they do have to be very, very careful. Um, and I think once you go through a certain level of, um, I guess, struggle that they did in season one, I think they're able to handle it. Um, and especially at the end of season one, too, I think they're able to, able to ha handle um, the sort of uh, obstacles and trials and tribulations that are to come in season two. Um, and they have to, you know, it, it, it's very much relatable too. like the friendships that they develop and like working together with one another is so important and it's, and it's really great to see. And I think, uh, as for Bronwyn and Nate too, they, um, they do have to learn to work together and, and work through their own stuff as well. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. they learned that working together is way better. Um, like Uber was saying, it's way better than working alone because I feel like they're big personalities. Um, they each want to try and solve the problem or the issue on their own and like, you know, with speed, but it, they just, everything works out best when they stick together and kind of have like a joint plan. Um, yeah, so that's, we'll see some of that this season as well. Yeah, absolutely. And and kind of as a cast, you're coming back together, you're rejoining the crew after uh, for a second season. What was it like coming back together to film season two after already kind of bonding during the first season? It was surreal. It was a, an amazing experience for season one. And I think the opportunity to get for season two is, it was just a, a, a blast, a pinch me sort of moment. I think um, that first table read, it was, uh, it, you know, it was, it was a buzz and it was exciting. And I think we were all pretty like ready to rock and roll for a season two. Yeah, it was great. And we, we got to work with pretty much the same crew that we had season one. Mm -hmm. so it was just like a big family reunion. We couldn't really celebrate wrapping season one because of COVID last season. So to be able to see them again and like actually finish a season in New Zealand with them and celebrate it was like just times a thousand what a season two wrap would be like. So that was very, very special. Yeah, we were literally wrapping like season one and two. When yeah. We season two. <laughs> right. Work. Um, so yeah, it was really cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. And we've got some newcomers coming in this year too, that we've got Jake's brother, we've got this new girl, Fiona coming in. How are they gonna shake things up? In hot. Oh, they're shaking things up for yeah. us. Yeah. Oh, like, Coming in hot. Yeah, be ready, get yeah. ready. 
<laughs> I'm excited. And, uh, you know, as we kind of move forward in this mystery, are you guys reading the scripts and trying to figure it out by yourself as you're coming along? Or do you know from the start? How does that work for you as actors? You want to take that away? Yeah, um, we don't know much until almost when we're ready to shoot. Um, so like everyone, I feel like we kind of go through a period where we're reading and we're like, oh my gosh, this is what's gonna happen. And then you kind of get to go and shoot it. And like for some scenes that works like fantastic because um, you have that like element of uh, just like organic acting and you like your reaction to it is so like fresh. Um, and then for other things, it's good to have a journey, but we, we basically get the scripts almost when it's time to shoot. Um, so it's, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think it's, it's an interesting process. it is interesting. I kind of like the element of surprise, like, you know, getting the, the scripts, maybe a couple, like a week, a couple of weeks before like shooting. Um, I think like learning, learning the lines as we go, it's kind of, I mean, we were learning lines like on the day of shooting, like we're like, oh, wow like just rehearsing our lines like let's go um yeah. and i think there's something like cool and exciting about that um but at the same time you do want to have the scripts in advance so you know your character arc um and so there, there were there were times where we got the scripts kind of in advance and we're able to like sort of um read through and and yeah. develop the the character arc but and it's really cool to like theorize about sorry no you go you go um, it's good to like theorize about what you think it's going to happen with the characters and like in the season. Um, so we're very much fans basically is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Absolutely. We're, we're, waiting, we're waiting to see what happened with Roman and Nate. It was, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. When, when, yeah. when like something happens like, whoo. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. Without, reve <laughs> without revealing too much, yeah. Yeah, well, I know that we're also big fans. Uh, I can't wait for everyone to see the second season. It's great. And I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with me today.